what's up YouTube you checking out the frequent flyer and as you can see we have another package here from DHL my favorite courier we got the blue alien on deck so let's get right in here and see what this is looks like we have a box in here okay so we have a box in here to open but I think we can just pull this off here and get it open. Oh, we need blue alien again. Stat free there. Should be able to slide this box out of here now. Okay, so it looks like we got two items in here. So the first item is super hard to get out. A blocks flying quad. So this is a Lego quad. It looks like do it yourself fun. So blocks flying. <laughs> and the second item is it's the King Kong 90 GT DSM two version. This is courtesy of Gearbest. So let's get in here and see what this is first. See what this looks like. Got the transmitter right here. The transmitter looks like a MJX nano transmitter. Oh man, so this thing has to be a symbol. We have an instructions manual here detailing how to how to build this thing, how to assemble it. So assembly required for this. That's going to be for another video or maybe I'll just assemble it and just pop out with this thing. <laughs> yes, yeah, just a bunch of Legos in here with motors and parts and stuff so we'll get back to that one later and so let's get to this one pretty nice I'm liking the way the motors look the motors this looks very different as far as the frame is concerned to the King Kong Q90 that I have so let's sit this to the side if we can get some of this stuff out of here we have an instructions manual that looks like it's just one sheet of paper not much of an instructions manual here this is just a test report so let's sit that to the side trying to get this other stuff out of here here so we, got, we get a nice case with it and this is the instructions manual here. Not bad. So it's in color. Detailing a few things in here. So let's sit that back in the box there. Okay, we have the props in here. We have a prop removal tool here. And we have a chart detailing the VTX channels and bands and we got some battery straps in here rubber battery straps look like rubber bands and we have two sets of props here so two sets of props along with mounting screws this one also comes with a battery so we have a 350 milliamp hour 7.4 volt battery so it's 2s We don't have to open it. Let's throw that down there. Now I want to do a quick comparison to the 90 GT and the Q90. Okay, so I have my Q90 here. This is the Q90 and this is the 90 GT. Now all of the parts seem to be the same. Most of them anyhow, they share some parts. But this one has a 4-in-1 ESC. And the Q90 has separate ESCs on the bottom 
but the ESCs on this model are actually 6 amp ESCs while this one has 4 amp ESCs. So this one can handle a 3S battery. This one can't, but it looks like this one might have the better frame, more spacing on it because the top plate on this one here seems like it gets in the way of uh, using larger props. The props just barely miss on the Q90. So the Q90 has the better specs, but this one seems a little more streamlined and the, the frame looks a little better. The frame is the same thickness, just about the same standoffs on it and all in the same place. So I'm thinking I can just get this top plate from the 90 GT and use it on the Q90 because the mounting holes seem to be in the same exact spot and the motor distance seems to be the same distance apart and I have to take this flight controller out of the casing and it should be able to uh, lay flat and have a lower profile like this one Wow so the King Kong 90 GT comes with prop guards they even give you a data cable man King Kong is really killing it now and they give you this connector for PPM output let's add some props to this one so we can see how it looks with the props on it and all. Okay, so the props it came with are these. And they're orange, but I had this color, which seems like it matches up better with the motors. They're the same color, so I use these. And so it looks pink. <laughs> but you guys can expect some flight footage. It is coming up real soon. It's, it looks like it has a DSM-X satellite in here. And ultimately, you guys can look forward to a quick review or a full review, maybe. It's the King Kong 90 GT. And the DIY Lego drone. <laughs> we got to put that thing together. Thanks for watching.